So my name is LaShawn Prescott, founder and artistic director of the dance company called LNYTT. It was formerly called L Incorporated and we changed the name to NYTT in 2010 when we legally established a branch of the company in New York. So the NY stands for New York and the TT stands for Trans Vago. And basically we're a company, we have uh, two sides, so one aspect of it is a school where we offer classes both for kids and adults, open classes in ballet, modern, hip hop, dance hall, Latin, am I forgetting anything else? Soca and folk, mm. most importantly, because yes. that's the one that we started with with our branch in New York. We have a soca class at one of the more prominent studios in Brooklyn, the Mark Morris Dance Center. So that's our New York leg. And in Trinidad, we have classes in Cascade, in Curve, and Marvel. We have a team of very strong teachers. Um, so even though I'm based in New York, we have persons who manage and run the company in Trinidad. Okay. And the second part, sorry for just jumping in. The second part of the company is the performing side. So we do have a performing company. Um, and we did our first performance in Queens Hall. I can't remember the year. Um, our second show was in Napa. And our third show was at Little Carp Theatre. So we really tried to move towards, hopefully it will become an annual event. So far we've been doing it every two years. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have our school show every December, which we've been doing every year. So the last one was GPA Complex. <laughs> I started nice. dancing with Carol Lachapelle, started with modern dance. Um, from there I moved on, I performed with Alan Balfour and Avni Joy Duki. They had a company called Joy Four, that uh, dance company. Alan also had something called Trinity Dance Theatre. Uh, I also performed with Asta Johnson Repertory Dance Theatre. I've done, I started ballet with Caribbean School of Dance. Uh, when I was 21 years um, and as the company slogan says experience different styles I've also dabbled in a little bit of hip-hop and dancehall and folk most importantly and Latin I haven't done tap but I feel that it you know just being able to experience different elements and different aspects of and different genres of dance really enriches you as a performer and you can see it on stage when someone is able to you know pull from all these different genres of dance and bring it into their performance. So I am registered registered with National Arts Registry. I was so enthusiastic when I heard about the initiative because when I was working at the Ministry of Trade, um, we had a series of stakeholder consultations and stuff and people always talk about this problem in the arts of lack of funding. And I know that this initiative has been on the table for a while and you know there are challenges in terms of the democracy and you know just the whole bureaucracy of trying to put things in place because you know having to go through cabinets and stuff. But it's encouraging to see that steps are being taken and we're making progress. I, I myself haven't accessed the 150% um, tax benefit awarded to registrants in the National Arts Registry. But I am looking forward to accessing that incentive this year. I am going to be running to corporate sponsors and telling them about this initiative because I think that it really helps. Like what what I feel is one of the biggest challenges mm -hmm. in the arts, which is lack of funding. I would definitely advise persons to go and register with the National Registry of Arts and Cultural Workers because I feel that it's important for us as a a nation to have a database that persons come in from abroad or you know just anyone who wants to see what Trinidad and Tobago has to offer they can go to one location and get the contact information and get you know see the work that people have been doing and stuff and in addition to that I feel that it's a step in the, in the right direction towards being able to provide funding for artists because that has always been one of the biggest challenges and hopefully when the, the incentive is like streamlined and everything is perfect, artists and cultural workers would not have to complain about funding being a problem. <laughs> I'm LaShawn Prescott of the dance company LNYTT. I encourage you to become part of the National Registry of Artists and Cultural Workers. Get registered.